For those of you that aren't coming directly from the link, this is the reading of the extremely long Google Plus post that I made that is talking about my journey to level 16 and why ingress is so important to me. I did it. I finally got the AP for 16 off the first portal I ever submitted. If that's all you care about, you can stop at this sentence. If not, then I'm going to tell you about my journey to 16. Why Ingress is the most important game I've ever played. Why this portal I obtained my 16 off of is so important to me. And why I love Ingress so much. July 2013. Huh. Look at that Engadget article. Hmm. Ingress. Looks cool. Let's submit for the beta. October 5th, 2013. Bye, Tacoma, Washington. I'm moving back to Salt Lake City for a while until I get the money to hit LA. October 8th, 2013. Hmm. Haven't heard from my best friend slash ex-roommate in a couple days. She had a rough patch, and combined with her bipolar isn't doing so well. The very last words I said to her was, Just don't kill yourself. It's not worth it. October 9th, 2013. Three days with no contact. This is really worrying. I'm going to call her old apartment complex in Tacoma and have them check on her. 30 minutes later. Mr. Williams? We found her barely alive. Those are the events that led to my love of ingress. But why, you ask? I can tell you that right after receiving that call as I was speeding on the 800 mile drive to Tacoma, the very last thing I was thinking about was video games. Heck, I didn't even take the time to grab my laptop, something I would regret weeks later. And yet, little did I know, a game was going to be the only way I'd make it through the whole ordeal. I'll never forget that orange name batch. St. Joseph's Hospital. Visitor. Colin Williams. October 10th, 3.50 a.m. I arrived in Tacoma to find my friend lying in a medically induced coma. She had been passed out from the overdose for two and a half days with fluid-filled lungs that had 95% failed and stage 5 crush syndrome, all the flesh to the bone dead. The doctor said that she was only getting worse, but he knew a specialist in Portland that handled this kind of situation. They called the Portland team, and after a few hours got a helicopter in the air. I followed down I-5 at literally 100 miles per hour trying to not crash or or cry. With no radio, I only had the CD my best friend had burned for traveling. Kesha. In a moment of adrenaline-fueled panic and fear, the only person I had to get me through it was Kesha, spewing her wisdom about boots and boys. I arrived in Portland, the city I grew up in, 90 minutes later and rushed into the hospital to wait. I didn't have enough money for a hotel, but even if I did have it, there was no way I was leaving for anything. The only time out of the room was down in the cafeteria to bring food back up after making sure that they had my number to call me if anything happened. October 14th. Four days in a coma and no sign of improvement. She's only gotten worse. The doctor is putting her on uh, ECMO, something he explained nationally 40% of people die on. At least they have a little better odds here. October 24th. Day 13 of sleeping by her bed in a chair, but at least she's finally off ECMO and the other tubes are out. The staff keeps saying I need to get out and leave the room in the hospital. Go take a walk, the doctors told me for the last 11 days. Where would I walk? Where would I go? What if I leave and then she... 
October 28th. She's finally partly awake and just started fidgeting like crazy. Maybe I'll get to talk to my friend again. Looks like she wants me to come over. W what is it? More fidgeting. I look down to find a pool of poop forming on my shoe and my pants where they were pressed against the bed. <sighs> Great. My friend just pooped on me. November 18th. She's finally out of the ICU, which means that I get to spend night 38 in a smaller chair. My family's joining with the doctors on this whole get out and take a walk thing. Mom insists in an email I see the new Thor movie, but it doesn't look interesting enough to leave her, even though she's doing better. November 21st through 24th-ish, 2013. What's this email? Oh, that's right, that game I signed up for. Well, let's check it out. What's that over there? Oh, that's right, that's the wooden tree sculpture on the other side of the hospital. Amanda, are, are you okay with me leaving for a bit to go check this out? Oh, hey, I didn't know there was a church across the street. And another one a block away? Okay, now I better get back to the hospital. There was finally a reason to take a walk. It finally felt like it was time to move. By day 60, my other friends and family didn't know how I was staying there so long and keeping sane sleeping in a chair. One reason was that I knew I couldn't just leave my friend alone there in a strange hospital with only the occasional relative or friend able to drive and visit for a few days a month. But the real secret was my new friend, Ingress. Although I spent the first 14 years of my life in Portland, it was constantly surprising how many little things were there that I didn't even know. Even the, the train station downtown where my dad's office is contained, uh, new sculptures and pieces of art that I just breezed past before. Looking at the world, but never seeing it. Just a few hours of walking and exploring every day, and I was able to hit my level 8 in a couple months. I honestly can't remember the day, though, because although it was great to hit 8, that wasn't why it was important to me. It was important because it was another day that I got out for a walk. It was another day that I stayed sane. Another day that Ingress made it, so I had enough emotional energy left to stay there for my friend. Legacy Emanuel is a, a beautiful hospital, and towards the middle of the stay, I was able to start taking my friend on walks through the hospital, pushing her in a wheelchair. Thanks to the wooden birds portal, I was able to show her ingress to better explain what I was doing on my walks. There's an award-winning children's garden in the middle of the hospital, complete with yellow brick road and a giant 8 foot 10 man. My friend asked, is that a portal? Nope. You should make it one. So that was my first portal I ever submitted, and my step from being an ingress player to a contributor to the Ingress community. Legacy Emanuel Children's Garden. I never actually met any other players in Portland, but I chatted on comms with a few. In fact, it was my first comm chat that showed me how different Ingress players were. I spent a couple hours taking and then losing and then taking back the wooden bird sculpture at the hospital. The other player calmed me, commenting on how I seemed to really like that portal. I explained that I was staying with my friend in the hospital, and upon hearing that, he wished her luck and said he'd leave the portal alone. For me, this was unheard of, where previous online gaming amounted to 10-year-olds in the UK yelling racial slurs at me while attempting to kill my player. All of a sudden, I understood the difference with Ingress. As a real-world game, people acted like they did in the real world. Are some still assholes? Yes, but they'd be assholes playing checkers against you. 
There is no keyboard to hide behind, so our real human compassion comes through more than any other MMO. 105 days sleeping in a chair. 105 days watching my friend die and then get better. 105 days staving off an emotional breakdown. 105 days only made possible because of ingress. When I got back to Utah, I was honestly a broken human. I had to take a couple months off from life to process everything, but by now ingress was an addiction. So as much as my depression wanted me to stay inside, I couldn't. I still had to get out to go capture the portals. And I finally met players too, I, I didn't even realize it at first. I was battling out for a portal when Vince Marcus stepped out from his office building to say hi. I never met a player before, so when this guy started randomly talking to me with his phone out, it didn't click at first. Little did I know that someday I'd be that random guy that has now been dozens of players' first contact in Ingress. From there, I met more and more players and I attended my first Mobile Eights. Now not only was I out, I was out with friends, I was attending sangria parties, I was meeting and hitting on every single female Ingress player. What's even more is they had the same passion for Ingress that I had, which caused instant deep connections. It always pains me when I'll mention to family my Ingress friends and they comment, but they're just friends from a video game, not understanding how deep the bonds are. Some Ingress friends are people that I know 10 years from now when Ingress is just a memory, would have a couch I could crash on while passing through town and who would be equally welcome on mine. The community is amazing and is what truly makes playing worthwhile long term. The kindness is amazingly exemplified by the charity actions put together by the Ingress community to help our players that hit a hard time. Because even when there are enemies, there are friends. I've been lucky enough to also feel the community love in a different way with both the Comic-Con panel I was a part of and with my instructional web series, Ingression. Ingression actually started as an accident. I've always loved multi-layered fields once I figured out how to make them well. And when the Illuminator badge came out, I offered in a local group to help some players plan them. The response that came back was, you should just write a guide. Despite the length of this post, I'm actually not a fan of writing something you know if you're listening to the audio version of this. So I decided to make a video guide instead, but before making a multi-layered fields video, then you should probably cover basic fielding first. And you may as well cover a couple other things in videos, and before you know it, that turned into ingression. I only planned to do five or six videos, but once people started sharing the videos, and I was at a thousand hits when I expected 100, 200 tops, I realized that maybe I should cover some other stuff too. Then Niantic shared the series, and holy crap, was that awesome. 100,000 plus views later, it's been an amazing amazing experience that has made me love ingress and the community in a whole new way there is nothing cooler than waking up to a message from an agent in hong kong showing you the burrito field they pulled off after watching the video or or meeting new player after player in real life who are fans of the series and just nerding out over ingress while talking to someone who's experiencing their new set of eyes Ideally, I'd love to work for Niantic and have Ingression be an official series and be able to travel and teach Ingress a la November Lima 1331 style. I'm also working on a new travel series called Ingress Field Trips. Field Trip obviously paying homage to Niantic's first app, but I still like Ingress better since it has the community. IFT hopefully will be like a travel channel style show highlighting things that guidebooks might have missed especially since small towns often don't have a guidebook for them. I filmed some pieces exploring towns from Salt Lake to Portland this last week on the way to the Anomaly and hope to film some more. With the Anomaly, I knew that this is where I should get my 16. So once I got the days off work confirmed for the Anomaly, I pumped out 5 million AP in the last week across my home city and while traveling. If I blew up your portal along the way, I apologize, but I needed the unique. 
Has there been times I've gotten sick of Ingress? Yeah. I burned out for a couple months after Darsana and, and barely even played. Have I been pissed by things in the game? Well, I'm still working on planning field art to spell F asterisk C K shards after not getting any sleep for the nine plus days one was in my city, so that should tell you something. But when you love something, you'll always come back to it and forgive it for minor flaws. And I can't stop loving the game that did so much for me, that literally kept me sane. So here I am, standing at the beginning, the very first portal I ever submitted. At the place that saved my friend's life, with the game that saved mine. So thank you, Ingress. Thank you, Niantic, NIAOps. Thank you, all the staff, Linda Besh, Brian Rose, and Bolton Muller, Joe Philly, Ethan Laporte, and John Hankey. I can't wait for the next 16. In the meantime, go out there, have fun, destroy, deploy, enjoy. I'm Colin Williams, a.k.a. Incredible Hulk. <laughs>